Note: The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Removal. On the bottom of the notebook, remove the two rubber feet from the base enclosure. Remove the seven 5.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook over and open the display panel. Carefully separate the edges of the top cover from the base enclosure. Lift the front edge of the top cover until you have access to the battery connector on the system board. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the top cover. Replacement. Note: Before installing a new top cover, remove the following from the old top cover. And install on the new top cover. Touchpad board, power button board. Place the top cover into position on the base enclosure so that you have access to the power button board, keyboard, and touchpad board ZIF connectors on the system board. Insert the power button board ribbing cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the battery cable into its connector on the system board. Lower the top cover onto the base enclosure and press down on the edges of the top cover until it snaps into place. Close the display panel and turn the notebook over. Replace the seven 5.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the two rubber feet into position on the base enclosure.